Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to do this really cool time warp effect that is really, um, you know, appealing on the eye. It's kind of where you slow down and speed up the motion at different points and it creates a kind of warped effect that looks really, really cool when you're doing certain kind of animations. So if we play back this scene I've got in my timeline, you'll see the animation at the moment is exactly the same. So no different. Both of them are exactly the same. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the first point in the timeline where we want to start the time warp and we're just going to break this motion here. And we're going to go to the end point and we're going to break it just as she comes off the stool. And then once we broke that, we'll just delete that middle motion and drag these two together. And we're just going to get a little bit of a better blend here. So we're just going to drag them over, make them overlap and then just drag these two little markers here. And you're going to see already it creates some sort of you know, a bit more speed in the motion when she kind of flies off the chair. You can see it's a little bit more fast. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a curvature here. So we're going to go here to this time warp section and we're going to go on to the ease out curvature. And you're going to see this is just going to make it a little bit more smoother as the transition happens. So when you compare it side by side with the other model, you can see that this motion's a bit quicker it gets to the ground a lot faster. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go back into our time warp here and we're just going to basically adjust this a little bit so we can actually customize it and, you know, play around with the sliders ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a little bit more on that ease out curvature and that will give us a little bit more different results. You can see there, it's kind of like she's warping straight to the floor. It moves really quick. And, you know, it just depends on what kind of effect you're going for. You can add less or more, you know, depending on the effect. But ultimately, you can see it really kind of adds, you know, a lot more weight to the motion and it moves a lot more faster. And what we're going to do now is at this point, we're going to basically add the linear curve. And just to show you kind of the different results that we are getting. But if we break it at this point in the timeline and we add two different curves, you'll see it starts to speed up and then slow down. So you can see here it slows and then it goes back to going fast. So it's a really, really cool way to get this warped effect, this really cool time warp. And there's, you know, you can see the motion slows down in the air and then speeds up as she gets to the ground. So it's just a really, really cool effect. And um, I really hope this tutorial helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial. 